Welcome to part eight of our game. We're going to be finishing up by creating three new scenes. One will be the intro scene that you see here. And we'll also create a lose scene as well as a win scene. Okay, so let's start with the introduction. So let's go under default and you'll click plus and create new scene. Click new and let's name it intro. And let's start by doing add and text. And you can press period to zoom into that text. Now to type text, you need to be in edit mode. So you want to select edit mode. And when you're in edit mode, you can hit backspace. And then you can start typing out your message. Okay. So what you want to type out is this. It'll say, welcome to the maze game. Use the arrow keys to move the character. Avoid the bad guys and collect all the pickup items to win the game. And then press S to begin. So go ahead and type that out and space it out. And, um, and then I'll show you how to color it in and do all that. Okay. So welcome to the maze game. I'm not going to type all of that out. Um, I'll leave this up so you guys can pause it and do that. Um, I just want to go through some of the techniques of typing out all of it. Uh, once you have it typed out, what you want to do is go back into object mode and press S, and that will allow you to scale it down. Okay. And once you have it all typed in, you also want to do this. You want to go to add and select camera, and then hit zero. And basically, you want to adjust your camera by dragging it up. Use the blue arrow. You want it to be able to see all of the stuff that you've written. Okay. And also, you want to do this. You can go to the Material tab, click New, and under Diffuse, choose a color and that will color your text. And if you hit P, it'll come out white. And the reason for that is because you have to go through a process to convert this into a mesh. Okay. So after you have everything typed out and it looks like this, what you want to do, and you have your materials in there, you're going to press Alt-C and it'll say Convert To and you're going to select Curve from Mesh Text and then do Alt C again and select Mesh from Curve. And when you do that and you hit P, it'll come out blue. Okay? Alright, so once you have that set up, you guys have where it says press S to begin. So we need to set that up. So you're going to go into the game logic and select your intro scene. And we're going to add a keyboard sensor and that keyboard will be, or the key will be S. And we're going to add a controller. And we're going to add an actuator that is a scene actuator. And we want it to basically start or set scene and it'll be on level one. Okay, so after you've done that, Go ahead and go into camera mode, press P, and then hit S, and it should take you to scene one or level one. All right. All right, so we're going to do our next scene. So click plus, new scene. This is going to be our lose scene. And we're going to do it much like we did our intro scene. We're going to add in text. And I'll show you what I put. Sorry, comma, try again, and then press R to restart. So you're going to go ahead and type that out. So you want to go into edit mode. So 
sorry, try again, and then press R to restart. Alright, so once you have that typed out, go into object mode. You want to add in a camera. And I'm going to press period to zoom in. And I'm pressing G right now just to grab it and move it. All right, so once you have that, go ahead and select your text again. I'm going to go into default mode and select the material. And I'll make it in red. And then once you have that, you want to do Alt-C, con uh, convert to curve, and then Alt-C again and select mesh at the bottom there. And then when you hit P, it should look like that and take up the material. Okay, so we need to set up uh, basically the R key, sort of like we did for the other. Um, so we're going to go to game logic again. We will add in another keyboard sensor that has the R key. Add an AND controller and we want to set the scene so select scene for the actuator and it'll set the scene back to level one alright so let's go ahead and try that out go to intro hit P, so we'll hit S to start. Alright, let's let the bad guy get me. It's like I'm invincible. Oh, there we go. Alright, so it didn't go to that scene um, because I need to add one thing. Alright, so we're going to go to level one and we need to go to the game logic. and we need to change it. So you want to select the bad guy and we have it set up so that when the bad guy gets near us the scene restarts. We need to change that to set scene and select lose. That way when the bad guy gets near us it'll go to the lose scene. And you want to do that for both of your levels. So select the bad guy on level 2 set scene and lose. That way it'll work for both levels. And let's go ahead and hit P and try it out. There we go. Alright, and now we can see if our thing works where we hit R. Yes, it does. Okay, so you want to make sure that works. And then we just have one more scene to do. So let's go to default, click the plus sign and new, and this is going to be our wind scene. And for our wind scene, I'll open it up here so you can see. It'll say, congratulations, you won. Okay, so we need to type that in, and then we need to set up some sensors, controllers, and actuators for it. All right, so let's go to text, go into edit mode, and type in, Congrat congratulations, you won. I'll hit enter so it goes on the line below. Alright, so we have that. We can go into object mode here. Click on material, click new. Pick a color. And let's add in our camera. And I'm going to hit zero to go into camera mode. And I'm going to hit G and Z move it up. Let's see, that didn't work as well as I wanted. I'll use the arrow here and then zero. There we go. And you can select the text and kind of center it there. 
And then we need to do Alt C to convert it to a curve, and then Alt C and convert it to a mesh. There we go, and I hit P and it should work. All right. Okay, so now we need to get it so that when we collect a certain amount of items, it will take us to this scene. So you want to go, uh, let's go to the game logic, and we want to go to our HUD scene, and you want to right click, make sure your plane is selected. And I'm going to minimize these so I have more room. We're going to set up a property sensor. And that property sensor is going to be an equals sensor. Under the property, you want to select text. And then under the value, you're going to type in the amount that you have uh, total pickup items for the first and the second level. So for, the, for me, I have five on the first level and 10 on the second level, so 15 to win the game. I'm going to add in an AND controller and connect them. And I'm going to add in an actuator. And that actuator is going to set the scene. So it'll be a scene actuator, set scene, and I'm going to select the win. And I'm also going to add in an actuator and a scene actuator. And it is going to remove a scene, and that will be level two. So what I've done is that when the total number of pickup items equals 15, the win scene will come up, and the level two scene will go away. So let's go to, once you have that set up, go to default, and this should be the final thing you need to do. We'll go to intro, we'll hit P, we'll hit S to start, and let's see if it works. We need 15 items to win the game. So we are at five. Okay, let's see if this works. We're at 10. Boom, and we are done. If you test yours out and it wins, then your things all work and you are done with lesson eight. Congratulations.